enchanting rooms. This little weird U-shape system that is used everywhere all the time throughout all of Minecraft history. But what if we did it differently? Today we're going to be looking at three different designs that have three different aspects and hopefully sparking imagination or possibly just the idea of using this in your own worlds of what if we had it so it was accessible from all four cardinal directions or what if it was a little bit different with how we set up the bookshelves and interesting from an indoor perspective and also how do we make it surreal to put an enchanting setup outside and have it not just look absolutely strange and like it doesn't belong follow along today and we'll be able to go through all three of those right quick so with this first one, I wanted to be able to have an idea of an enchanting room that's able to be accessed from all sides. Traditionally with an enchanting room, normally it's like you walk in from the front and that's the only real thing that we have. So I figured that this would be a good way to be able to mix things up and I decided just with the shape of this and having that pattern of the five uh, bookshelves, I think it'd be a good idea of just having it be almost like a witch hut style, but symmetrical on all sides and have it be able to go out. So I thought that'd be a good idea. Now, I have these oak pillars in the corners and I realize immediately let's add some depth let's vary this up a little bit make it look nice uh this is both being able to show different ideas for uh enchanting rooms but also how to be able to design and make it look a little bit nicer so add that little bit of depth i decided i wanted to try something here like a little arch system and it, i just thought it was the front of a tent and that's not what i want from this so swapped it up a little bit and just decided i'd put on a little bit of a roof and be able to design that out be able to have just peaks going in and the corners rounded out so that's what I did, and I thought that ended up looking really, really nice. Uh, I decided to use a spruce trim on this just because it added a little bit of color variation and stuff like that, but I feel like it goes well with the oak. And you'll see later on that I have the accent toward the very top, the spine of the roof matches the spruce, and I think that just really ties things together when you're building something like this. So we have this very basic shape. Obviously, when you guys are building this, you want to swap this out, make it a little bit different, a little funky, a little unique. Definitely go for that. It'd be a really good design. One thing about this that I was a little bit iffy about was these corners down below because there wasn't really enough space to have it sunk down a little bit because that adds a little bit of depth to the roof instead of having just match with the spruces. So there's these little gaps I end up filling with some stairs and stuff like that, or possibly even... Was it, lo it was logs in those corners, actually, and I think that looks good but it is also really weird and kind of different um filling in the underside of each of these i fill up yes it was oak logs going into the uh, corners to be able to provide that support and then just the stairs walking in just really provides that support i think it looks really really good with the extra little bit of trim on top and right now we're kind of going through and adding a little bit of detail and design so we're adding in some stripped oak because that just looks frankly amazing with oak planks and it's like the only wood i feel like really works well with its stripped oak strip log variant um we're adding that in and then we're adding in some spruce fencing here uh and i think that just kind of adds a little bit of extra support able to make each side look a little bit more unique and different and yeah totally functions as a regular enchanting room and i think it looks absolutely great this one was a little bit more different so i decided i wanted to do something that would be best for an underground setting by the way uh game is updated somebody uh stairs block light now um so I'm adding this height and stuff like that. This is just an idea for if it was underground and be able to make it like setting the stage for it to be underground, basically. So these pillars and stuff like that, I think it looks nice for this design really quick, but it might not. If you're building this underground, you might not have this. You might have this as the front or something like that. The other side, you know, maybe it's just deep slate, deep slate tile. You texture it up, vary it up a little bit. Could look good. I'm adding the roof right here because it's supposed to be inside in a cave and the way we're going to be able to do this one that's a little bit more unique and aesthetically pleasing is we're going to have it be chaotic and having the bookshelves hanging from chains above um, different heights different amounts on each chain and you're able to just see that all these are just kind of providing this almost a mystical feel and especially when there's the little glyphs i guess traveling from the bookshelves to the enchanting table makes it feel super magical the end rod underneath provides that little bit of extra magic substance to it i think it looks really really good as i was doing this i realized some of the bookshelves were out of range and were kind of just not really practical kind of out of the way so i decided first off let's trim off the top bits of some of them a little bit you can see that going on right now change the heights vary things up but also i moved the enchanting table up a little bit that way we didn't just have bookshelves like on the ground and stuff like that and then i put the stairs back so that way you're able to get up to it and i think it looks good the final one by far my absolute favorite is i thought of the idea of a traveling enchanting table and this would actually be really fun on smp if you were going around and maybe it's really early you went and grinded that enchanting table and your friends haven't yet and you're able to do this to be able to be like hey guys like uh you need that enchanting table yeah 
and you just walk up with your little rig and stuff like that and build it up and it just looks really really cool or you can pop this in the center of town or something like that i think it looks really really cool i really just enjoy it but we have those wheels which is just four stairs kind of going in a circle and the um enchanting table is very standard to basic but because of the idea of it being angled it makes it look interesting that's what those extra dark oak slabs going up are doing is really helping with the idea of this is like the front wheel which this, these are the back wheels the front wheel is larger than the back wheel thus it's on a little bit of an angle you enter from the back of the cart i think it looks really really good i almost put in the fence uh fence blocks a little bit early uh but we need a spot for the guy to be able to sit that'd be driving this around and stuff like that when the fences we're gonna put a horse in later i tried like taming the horse so i could put a saddle and armor on it but with replay mod that doesn't even show um at least while i was rendering it if it shows now that'd be hilarious um but yeah, so this is just the design. I really wanted to show how the stairs kind of all worked in the very front there by going around. I'm designing the uh, back wheel and I decided not to show that right now because of how much effort and struggle it was. But yeah, it's just basically this shape. Fence gates, uh, not fence gates, fences surrounding a block, stairs in the corners. And I just think this looks really, really good. We have the arches kind of going up, the uh, little side panels. And I thought that'd be a good way of like the... Um, driver gets up there like you know he used the enchanting table he goes out and around goes up on one of the spokes that hold all the wheels is able to get to a seat that way um i thought that was a really unique interesting idea because you can't just go over it from the bookshelves uh because we need those ones there um i also like that this is a very wide build i think it adds a little bit of uniqueness to it because a lot of wagons are very very narrow um but i think one of the reasons why it could possibly use a little bit extra is if we put a canopy over it. i didn't do that in this one just because I feel like this was enough, and I think it looks really, really good. Hopefully it can inspire you guys to be able to do something similar, and I really just do enjoy it. Um, the little seat shape there I think is really good because it would hold someone. A lot of people fell asleep, actually, while driving wagons back in the day because you could trust a horse to do it. I also changed the uh, sides on that, the dark oak that goes along the bookshelves to be able to add an arch. I think it looked really, really good and added depth to those tires. I think it looks absolutely great. Hope you guys do, too. And yeah, that was the three enchanting setups. Let me know which one was your guys' favorite down below. And if you guys would like to see me do more in the future of these, I have a few more video ideas coming up in the future with other let's builds and things of that nature. But I'm very excited to be able to say I'm going to be trying to add in more let's play content, things like that to the channel. I have a game plan going forward and I'm just really excited. I'm really glad to be able to be back doing these let's builds and things of that nature in the YouTube shorts. If you guys didn't see the short for this video, I encourage you guys to go see it. We did a little bit more of a cinematic thing with that last build. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys sometime soon with the next one. Goodbye.